Take me to Jollibee. Or Jollibee or whatever the fuck it's called. Why would they even pull that one up? I wouldn't even be able to make that. Even with this saying... Oh, even when, yeah, I definitely wouldn't be able to make that. Hmm. Let me see. Ninety six way. So we can do this one. All right. Seventy five. No, let me see. Yeah, we can do this one because this has a lot of street stuff. It's saying 61, so we should be good. We should be good. Um, as you guys saw, that said a little bit over an hour. I'm going to try to get it done. It sh shouldn't be an hour. But we'll see when we get to that point. So they put a Jolly Bee here in Michigan. Maybe about six, eight you months ago. I think it was like six months ago or something like that. Central City Parkway. Oh, that was kind of wild. Yeah, about six, eight months ago, they put a Jolly Bee in Michigan. But luckily, they put it where they put it at. Because as you can see, this shit is now still. Right onto Central City Parkway. This shit is still far away from where I live. But it's like drivable, it's doable. Right? It's like. I would drive that far to get some Jolly Bee chicken. Right? To get some of that spaghetti. Uh, we've already been here like like three times so far and it's not a bad drive it's just a lot of freeway so that is a forewarning um it may be long and boring but i'm doing it at this time for a reason i'm doing it at this specific time because it should be a lot of traffic out and it should be a lot of uh obstacles for this car to have to undertake in order for it to get to where it has to take now us. Right onto Ford Road. So that should be a good thing. Um, wow. Okay, I'm going to hit the accelerator to make it go. <laughs> Cause I, I, it, it saw the yellow light and it stopped as if it had to stop. Now, you, normally that's what a yellow light means. Like, you, you're going to have to stop. But with it being that close, no, mm -mm, we're not stopping. And then the car across the street didn't even turn yet, didn't even move. The hell? That was a pretty hard slowdown for no reason. Well, hopefully this thing can start doing some really stupid stuff so we can uh, get some excitement going. Yeah, just put this place up here about eight months ago and from what I heard when they finally put one here it was like a three hour wait just to get some chicken <laughs> you know now it is Jolly Bee's chicken but you know it's not I don't know if it's three hour wait worthy so that was good nice little slowdown and then we right back to speed. So that was pretty good. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's worth waiting three hours to get it. Um, they do got some pretty damn good chicken. Um, I was skeptical on the spaghetti because I would see videos on YouTube and how everybody was eating the spaghetti and they were saying, oh, this is spaghetti, it's the best, and spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. And I've even heard a couple of people, right, like these quote-unquote food critics, which I guess anybody these days is a food critic, but they were all describing the taste. 
but I'm just looking at the visual of it and I'm like, no, like that's not true. Like you can't tell me for one second. You can't tell me for just, uh, you can't tell me that spaghetti is good. And when I finally tried it, I was like, damn. <laughs> like this shit is the bomb. Like this spaghetti is the fucking bomb. I couldn't believe how good that shit was. So I may get some when I go up there. But you know, I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. And I'm greedy. So I end up going up there and spending like $200 just on some fucking Jolly Bee. But, uh, but all in all, their food is pretty good. Um, I don't like their biscuits. Their biscuits to me is pretty garbage. It's pretty whack. They are not. They're just not. All right, let's see what it does. Since last time, it got right over. Nope, we're just going to stay over here. Okay. Yeah, I do notice this thing does different things on the same routes. And I only notice that when I'm going to work. So when I go to work, I go to work um, using the same route every single time. But this car likes to do a lot of different things when it's taking me to the same exact place on the same exact route. Um, lately, when you get off the freeway, you have to make a right. And it's two lanes that you can turn right. But it's best to use the left right turn lane to make that right. So you can already be in the left lane because you have to make a left, you know, like not too far up. All right, so this is our chance to get over. Wow, are we gonna miss it? I hope we do. No, it's gonna slow down. So I, I guess that was good, you know. I, I guess that was all right. Again, if this was me, I would have been over in that lane. That's just to be safe and to make sure, look, I need to do what I need to do. Like this, you know, <laughs> like we're, we're all set. But the software doesn't think so. The software thinks, yeah, you know, I can be a thousand feet away and then I can try to get on the freeway. You know, a lot of people here, they are not forgiving when it comes to driving. And I don't see a problem with that, you know, in this world that we live in, you kind of have to be aggressive when it comes to driving. All right, well, you can, you can you put a band, got over it. All right, so that was cool. So it that, that was different. That was completely different, right? Every time we get to this point, when getting on 275 from Fort Road, right? Every time we get to this point, the car never wants to get over. The car doesn't put on a turn signal. It just sits there and it waits for the lane to end or to merge and then it starts getting over. Whereas that time, what it just did, it put the turn signal on and said, yeah, I need to get over, let me over. That was, that was pretty great. I have no problem with that. I just wish it would do that more. I wish it would just continue to do that every time it gets onto a freeway or even when it gets off. But that was one of the, you know, the quirks the little uh, differenti, whatever you want to call it. You know, it, it did that. Now I'm pretty sure on the next drive, when we go to getting back on that freeway again, it's probably gonna wait. So it's probably gonna like wait until the car delay merges to, to get back on. It's not gonna do that again, most likely. Uh, just like going to work. You know, I go to work, the last time I went to work, it used the left, lane to make the right turn and it always gets to the right lane now it's using the left lane so i think it's learning like i think it's it's seeing what i do maybe right it's taking these quote unquote videos and it's like okay i can make it from the left uh right turn lane but at the same time it does the turn very very sharp so it's kind of impeding on if somebody was in the right lane trying to make that right turn it's impeding on them making that right turn yeah that was that was pretty cool that was awesome 
lots of cars out. So it's gonna be really, really, it's gonna be interesting once we get on Van Dyke. As a matter of fact, let me check this. Oh, so this is the one I really wanted. Shut up. So this is the one I really wanted. And it popped back up. So this has a lot of uh, street stuff, right? Hopefully it's not too busy. Hopefully it's not a lot of people trying to uh, go through these little street ways so we can actually do it, but yeah. So this is the one freeway that we start off on. And I think what happens is we go to 696, which is the next freeway that we end up on. And then we get off on Telegraph. And that's when the street stuff take over. Again, a lot of boring freeway driving. Um, and it's cool because driving on the freeway in a Tesla. Now, I, I do, I have noticed, right? I, I've seen a lot of other people walk, just walk up to me randomly and tell me about um, they have Ford vehicles, right? So this one lady had a Ford Edge. You know, it was like a 2020 two or something like that 2021 whatever it was and she was telling me that her car was able to drive itself so i'm looking at her like she must be stupid like what the fuck is she talking about right and she told me yeah when i get on the freeway um i think she said it's, it's called blue cruise or whatever it's called blue something something with blue and she said yeah when i get on the freeway you know i click this button or do whatever and she said, I don't even have to have my hands on the wheel. I just have to be looking for it. And I just got to make sure I'm looking at the road. She said, and the uh, the car drives itself. And I said, wow, okay. Like, so basically they got autopilot. Let's see if it slows down, if it does a hard slowdown. Wow, okay. That was pretty cool. So it, did, it didn't do any type of slowdown. It said, fuck your construction. But we are still in this lane. And we have to get out of this lane soon. That was weird. Normally it doesn't stay in this lane. And it's a huge sign that says lane ends right there. Are we still over here? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's see what it does. Yeah, that was. So I, I don't have a problem with that, but there's a big problem with that, right? What if the truck on the right of me had the idea, I want to get into that lane, right? The truck making a split second decision is going to look and see me not in that lane. And then try to, you know, he could have tried to get in this, into this lane, not thinking about the lane merging or ending. And the car needs to think about that too, way ahead of time, like way in advance, right? You know the lane ends in however many feet. We need to be over. So we don't, you know, and that's, that's how I would drive. You know, I wouldn't have been in that lane unless it was some slow moving cars and I could just shoot up in front of them. But, um, nah. We're gonna put that one in the trash because they shouldn't have done that. This should have been uh, way more assertive. A couple of more miles until we get to the next freeway. The car keeps doing some, I don't know what that is. Like it's going now, but then it'll do like this very slight slowdown and then it'll start going. See, there go another Cadillac Lyric. I swear every video I make, it's a Cadillac Lyric. And they're all like different colors too. Damn. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of liking it. Now I did say I was gonna pull the person over <laughs> and demand a ride, but you know, it's, it's kind of a lot of people out here. I don't have my megaphone on me, so I really can't communicate with them. And I, I know the car has a megaphone, but you can't use it while driving. All right, so we gotta make this interchange. We gotta get over like two more lanes. So there go the first one. And we have to get over another one because this doesn't lead to the freeway that we need to get to. So I wanna see what the car's gonna do. Is it gonna slow down for this like quirky looking Nissan? Or are we gonna stay here until it's too late and then try to get over? I'm kind of hoping for the ladder, just just to you know get some uh, fun out of this. Let's see, is it going? 
going to tell me that, yeah. But it didn't do the red one. All right, so the car needs to get over. Still a lot of construction going on, but I don't know what's going on up here. Because they do this in and out with the cones thing. You know, it's nobody over there, so I'm I'm kind of cool with it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. That was that was cool. That was cool. That was fine. You know, it saw, it got over, and it said, "All right, we good." Not only did it do that, but it, um, wow, truck. Wow, he got the full self driving uh 10 going. Yeah, there it go. Okay. Um you know it saw and it said, yeah, I need to get over and it got over. Uh FSD does a good job of knowing where the lane is at when it's kind of like construction like like this. You know, when when it's the regular lane, but then they make another lane for you to go in. FSD a, does a great job of uh, knowing which lane it needs to be in. Still got that Cadillac Lyric on our tail. He's going extra slow, but he was old. Well, he is old. So I think it's a little tricky part up here. So we're going to see what the car does when it has to get off the freeway. Because half of this freeway is like construction laden and, uh, and it looks like it's this half wow BMW ready to stay in your lane so this was not just here like a month ago they just set this up all of this was just raw freeway I, I wouldn't even say a month ago it was probably like a couple of weeks ago Wow. All right, so we got 68 on the board. Um, I'm gonna up this speed because as you can see, there's gonna be a lot of people passing us. So I'm gonna up that speed to 80 because nobody's doing 60, except for that Cadillac Lyric behind us. But nobody's doing 60 at, on this part. There you go. I'm so glad I discovered that. Not really a discovery, but uh, just playing around with the settings. Led me to way better driving. Or should I say way better not driving. Yeah, all the, wow, they, they set this up so fast. So what's gonna happen is the part of the freeway down there where nobody's at, all that is gonna get dug up and redone. So I wonder if they're done with the part down there that uh, will be going further east. I don't even know if we're gonna reach that part, but I wonder if that part is finished. I would assume it is if they're doing this down here. All right, so we got some slowdown. We got even more slowdown. You know, I guess so, because we are doing high speeds. The car likes to keep its distance when you're doing over, um, I think, like 50 or something like that. But as you can see, we are at a steady 70 miles per hour. You know, so 60 is way out of the question. Way. It's a lot of shit over there, man. Oh, they got that side busted up already. Damn. That just lets you know how uh, much I drive on this freeway. This this freeway is a. Uh, if you, if you want to get your license taken away from you, you drive on this freeway. Because it screams Autobahn. It's just miles of tire burning uh, just streets. 
just freeway highway you know it's like you can't help but to be on this freeway and you you, you got to do over a, a 90 that's like the the speed limit even though it says 60 the speed limit is literally 90 like you have to it's, it's no you get pulled over and you get tickets not doing 90 so we did get in this lane but uh, I don't know why we could have waited till we got like a mile up well a mile away but um it's nothing but cars up there so we really don't have to worry about it oh wow hey and i saw her in the mirror she was she was looking straight ahead she was not on her phone she was looking straight ahead and for some reason she uh did that little swerve move all right car are you gonna let her over you gonna let her over wow well it doesn't look like it she could have speed up and get over. She could have used our turn signal the first time. Uh, what the hell was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? See, she did that to me and not a car is about to do that to this BMW. Man. <laughs> I don't even know why the car is about to get over. It's going to have to get off like in two seconds. All right, more like 30 seconds. But why? Wow, what the hell? I don't know if my car can see that. There's it, no way else to go over there. So it's going to have to stay to the right. It needs to be in the right lane in order to, uh, you know, get off where it's getting off at. So I don't know if this thing is confused. It, it's using vision, right? It's not using the sensors. I want to see if it can see what the hell it's trying to do. Because we need to be... Okay, that was fine. I think it did it did that on purpose. It's trying to uh <laughs> it's road raging against that SUV. <laughs> man, when did they put that into the software, man? That's that's kind of fucking sweet. That whole road rage uh code. Next thing you know, FSD 12 will be brake checking people, honking the horn, and trying to run people off the road. I would be so down with it. All right, so it, it did it. I wonder if there's construction going on up here too. So if I'm not mistaken, I have to stay in this lane to get off. Oh, wow. It does that a lot too. It puts the turn set on and then says, you know what, nope, I'm not trying to get over. It would be nice to lead a turn set on and let people know I'm trying to get over. All right, so we're going to shoot up past this truck. We need north, not south. So I don't know if the truck needs south. That's another thing. This thing is dangerous when it comes to semi trucks. When it comes to trucks like this or any truck with a trailer that's very long, this thing is so fucking dangerous. <laughs> like it just does not give a fuck. All right, so that was a nice little slowdown, right? Approaching. You know, it says 25. It will be, um, you know, sensible to do 25, but nobody really ever does 25 up here. It says ramp close to head. I want the ramp they're talking about. All right, so that's cool. We did a nice little speed. I still would have been going faster doing this, but, you know, I'm not complaining about it. All right, so we got this going on. Oh, that ramp, okay, all right. So we don't have anybody over there. So that was cool. But for some reason, we still doing 80 miles per hour. Oh, okay, it just, <laughs> it just changed it, okay. That's fine. Shut up, man, I just did that. What the fuck? Man, you know your period today or something? I guess so, because they had red hands instead of gray hands. We got a nice little boring drive up here. I just want to see what this car does when it comes to. Okay, that that was that was cool. That was fine. Now the person on the side of a dang, he got all the way over. Hmm. I mean, I, that's there's nothing wrong with that. Still got seven miles to go. Uh, that person on the side of us did not threaten us. Like she didn't try to get over into our lane. I I guess the car because it said it right on the screen to lead up the rightmost lane. 
So I guess to say, you know what, I'm not about to put up with these fuckers getting on and off. Even though it was, it was just on. Best Buy, what the fuck? I didn't know Best Buy still existed. Oh yeah, this is the... Uh, this will be the scary part. Now, now, that's one thing FSD is good for. If you got rush hour traffic or a lot of cars that's out and you're doing this stop and go, you just hit, you know, autopilot or FSD and you don't have to worry about shit. This thing does a pretty great job when it comes to slow driving traffic. A pretty damn awesome fucking job. Now, it is a little confused. Wow. Wow. You show your left turn center to go right. Yeah. There's a little confusing part once it gets up to Square Lake Road. So, I want to see what the car does. If the car actually does the shortcut way or if it's going to go the long way. Which, the long way is still not the shortcut. Okay. So, I'm about to hit the accelerator because this thing is not doing the speed I'm telling it to go. And we got that going. All right, so we we have 56 miles to so we're good. And and again, it's just it's staying at 56. Oh, I shouldn't have said nothing. Should have just kept my fucking mouth shut. But at least it's at 55, so we're good. And again, these higher speeds cause for the car to have a greater following distance. So, like it went down to 54, it's gonna start going down because it's trying to keep the distance from that the car in front of us so that's pretty cool it was a it was kind of a good idea to get over here um the right side it's four lanes now but then it, that fourth lane to the right merges so it disappears and it reappears and disappears and reappears so it's it's, it's kind of a good thing to be right here we could be in the middle and do our thing but Traffic is pretty steady. That's a lot of cars, but I don't see too many red lights. So we, we should be good. Um, I would hit the accelerator, but you know, we would just speed up to the white car and slow back down. So FSD is doing a pretty good job of keeping us distance. Oh, we, we back up. Okay, yeah, yeah, we getting there. So normally it slows down right here. Normally it will slow down, even though the lights aren't flashing, normally right there it will slow down. It would do this hard slow down like somebody was crossing the street. And I see it didn't do that, so that's, that's, that's pretty damn good. Normally it will slow down for every single fucking green light too. And I noticed it's not doing that. So we closer to the car, it's still doing 56. So that's good. But we are kind of like swaying in the lane. I've been noticing that in the cameras that this car is kind of been like going to the left and getting back in the center, going to the left, getting back into the center. Um, it, it's trying to act like a real human, and I don't like that. Shit. Act like a damn robot like you are. If you was a human, then where's my fucking sandwich? This is another street where, you know, okay, uh, that was weird. So that was, I, I guess that was pretty cool. I wouldn't have done that. Oh, I think it did that on purpose so we can be first at the light. But we was gonna be first at the light anyway. But. It gets pretty crazy up here. Um, again, this is another street where those people that put RT on their chargers got um, a lot of room to prove themselves. You know, these people with these loud exhausts thinking like their car is fast. This will be a street to show people how fast your car is. Now, there's a lot of cars out, but um, normally people go down the street doing about 60 or 70 until they see the cops and then they stop or they slow down and then they start going again. So I like how I was trying to keep up with the cars on the side of it. 
<laughs> instead of just going. Now, now right now it can go, and for some reason it still like had that that sluggishness. All right, so we getting up fifty. Okay, that's that's good. So I wonder what what makes it think on this street. Nope. So I'm about to hit the accelerator to make it do what I'm telling it to do. I wonder on this street what makes it think. So it went up to the speed limit, which is that's fine. But again, we don't do that shit here. That shit is for the turtles. Well, you know what makes it think on this street that okay, I can do this speed. But on other streets, it's like, nah. Mm -mm. Like, if the speed limit is 50, right, you should be trying to get up to 50. But if I'm telling you to do 57, then you should be trying to get up to 57. Is that fucking simple? Oh, okay, never mind. You know, I see the car in front of us is probably trying to keep his distance. Yeah, I had an incident um, where the car was going from one freeway to another. So I had to do this little curve thing, right? As I'm getting onto the freeway, it's two trucks, two semis, and they are in the slow lane, right? Which is the entrance exit lane. And my car was already doing like 65 or something like that. It gets onto the freeway. Now the truck is on the side of us. But we, we are in the entrance lane. Right, and the entrance lane ends. So I'm guessing the car thought that this entrance lane was a a lane, right? And it's just staying in the lane and then it sped up a little bit. So now the entrance lane is coming to an end. The car like tried to speed up to get past the truck. The truck didn't stop, you know, it didn't slow down. It didn't let me over, it just kept going. So now the entrance lane is ending, right? You got this lane going this way, and the entrance lane going this way, and the car had to cut the white line, and then down there pitted itself. Like, we we damn near, the the, the back of my car down there hit the, the semi truck, because it just got over. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Then once it got over, it slowed down. Like, you know, like I don't know what to do now. You know, it was really fucking stupid. And it's it's done that twice in one day. Like twice in one day. And you know, in that case, the proper thing to do would have been the safest proper thing would have been to slow down, let the truck pass, and then get over. You know, or it could have just sped up really, really quick and went past the truck. But it kept doing that uh, speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. And, oh man, it was dangerous. I, uh, for some reason, my dumb ass still did, did not disengage. I just let the car do what it did. And it could have resulted in some, 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 some damage, but it, it didn't, you know. I could have hit the accelerator. Uh, I could have, you know, grabbed the steering wheel and did some shit, but the car got, it managed to get his way out of uh, a sticky situation. Okay, that's cool. They had another situation where a semi, now this is the reverse, right? The semi was getting onto the freeway, and I was already on the freeway. There was an exit I had to get off of, get off on. And it was about a half a mile up. This semi is getting on the freeway and the entrance ramp to get onto the freeway was so small that the semi took up the whole thing. And the car just stayed on the side of the semi. Like, we're, we're like on a trailer. So if that's, if, if, if I went ahead and disengaged at that point, we probably would have been under the trailer or the trailer would have bumped us and we would have been fucked. So I had to take over you know, and get over and do a little evasive maneuver to get us out of that situation. 
And it's times like that where uh, I think I just need to record. All right, let's see what the car does. Let's see what the car does. Since the car knows it has to be over here, I want. Is it going to try to go over there? I hope it does, kind of. So we got people in the back of us. All right. Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. But I would have stayed. I would have. I would have stayed towards the line. Okay, so you can go to this lane. You can do that. Uh, 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 what the fuck was that? You know, you you know where you gotta go. Just stay in the fucking lane. So, what it could do is turn at this light right here. That light right there. It can literally turn at this light and then make a right right there. But except it's gonna go the long way and go all the way up here just to come back down. We'll see. We shall see. As a matter of fact, let me leave this up. Let me put it over there. So we 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 right here creeping up, right? We over here prairie dogging. And um, it is a huge red line right there, but that red line don't mean shit. If it wanted to, it can turn right here and then it will have enough room. See, and the two lanes over there turns right again. So it could turn right here and then turn right. It's gonna go up and then come back down, which to me is very fucking stupid unless it's a lot of cars right here. So you see the truck, um, wow, yeah. Yep, so. <laughs> you know, I'm not mad at it. You know, it's, it's doing what it does. I don't know why the GPS would tell you to do this. Now turn sharp right onto West Square. Lane. All right, let's see if it takes it. Will, it. will it try to go through? No, it's not. It's not. All right, so it, it, it did what I thought it was going to do. All right. Now, this avoids a lot of traffic, but at the same time, okay. Wow, which lane do you want to get in? Damn. Make up your fucking mind. I swear, female fucking drivers, man. Now we got the red light. We could have been over there turning to go down there. But it's all good. It just cool. Well. She's not from around here. You know, she doesn't, she's not used to driving around here. So um, she wouldn't have known that. Now the speed limit up here is 50. It says 50 right here, so that's good. Normally it gets to this point, like if it did turn from this street, normally it would, wow, he's, okay, all right. <laughs> oh, I was to say, is the police behind him? He said, fuck that light. <clears throat> all right, so we're doing 50. I'm not uh, okay. There it goes. We're good. Is, is that a Tesla on fire up there or something? The fuck is that? You know, we could be doing 57 right now, but you know, it's whatever. But that gotta be a Tesla on fire, like a Model X or something like that. We are approaching it, so we will see exactly what it is once you get up there. Hey, that thing look pretty sexy. All right, so we are, it's, it's pretty much in the middle. It looked like we were getting over to the left a little bit. You know, would you call that a luxury? Would that be a luxury when you could just let your top down and have bird shit getting all in your car? I don't see that as a luxury, right? I honestly see FSD as a luxury because nobody needs their car to drive itself, right? But why wouldn't you want your car to drive itself? Like, why would I want the top of this to go down and not have it drive itself? You know, like that, that just doesn't make sense to me. It's nice to feel that breeze. 
right? It's nice to look cool and to kind of put this like status out of yeah, look what my car can do, but I don't see any um I don't see any benefit from having your top going down other than you know women just hopping in your car and you driving off. Like that that's really it. Look like they contained the fire. All right, so now we got the speed bump, right? And bam. I mean, it's, it's not really bam, but it's doing something. Oh, that fire is all the way over there. I guess we probably won't see what it is. That was real great. As soon as this thing got over, it says, there you go. Yeah, is it gonna go past 80? I hope so. So it looked like this lane merges. So I think this lane merges. Oh, maybe not. Mm. All right. You know, it's doing a pretty good job. It's real close to the, uh, the line on the right. That was kind of touching the line on the right. That was on the line. <laughs> what the fuck was that, man? Can you not see? <laughs> oh, man. I got to teach this car how to drive, man. For real. What in the fuck was that? Man, luckily it didn't go all the way to the damn... The, the, the rail barrier thing. This thing has a real hard time when it comes to turns. Or doing like uh, higher speed turns, so we just gonna stay over here, right? Right, you gonna try to pass him? Is that what you're trying to do? Wow! No, I'm gonna just let it happen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what the hell was that? Why did? What the fuck was that? There was no reason for that to happen. There was no reason for you to do that. None. Damn, man. And now we got this. I think this is one of those 25 mile an hour get offs. Let's see what she does. She's usually good about, you know, doing this. Oh, no, it just says exit only. I do like the acceleration, though. How she just kind of does it. Oh, we got more follow la 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 over there. Brand new. White ones. You know, not trying to be racist or anything. Alright, so we got another stretch of someone freeway. Let's see. Alright, yeah. So immediately puts the turn set on to get over and it gets over. That was pretty fucking great. Pretty damn great. Let's see if it stays in the slow lane though. The, the, the right most. I guess we are just going to stay over here, huh? I mean, it's not too bad. At least we're doing 73. Hey. Okay, there you go. Uh, we could do one more. like it's burnt. How the hell does he see out of that thing? Maybe he doesn't because he, he looked a little foreign. Alright. Yeah. See, why not just leave the turn signal on and stay in the lane? Like, why turn it off? Like, that's human like too. I see a lot of stupid people that do that, right? They put the turn signal on and they see nobody's trying to let them over, so they turn it off. So, if I'm in my car and I don't know what the fuck you're doing, what you're thinking, what you're going through. In my mind, I'm gonna be thinking, oh, they changed their mind. They don't wanna get over anymore. But if I see that turn signal on, and if I'm driving, now this is me if I'm driving. 
right? Then I will slow down and let you over. You know, that's a part of sharing the room. FSD, that may be that may be something different. You know, when we was on the other freeway, I don't know if this car was slowing down because it saw that lady put her turn signal on to get over. But then it stayed like right on her tail. It didn't like kind of slow down to let her know, hey, you know, I'm giving you enough room to get over. It just kind of stayed in her blind spot a little bit. Damn. That truck said that the car was going too slow. That car is going slow as fuck. He must be high. He must be high as shit. So we're doing 80. And it looks like the people that's ahead of us are pulling ahead. <coughs> this is another freeway highway whatever you want to call it where you see a lot of people um, going 20 to 30 miles over the damn speed limit which isn't that bad like this car right here you know nothing wrong with that you know I don't care it's just when you don't see any law enforcement sitting around you just get that urge you know like you just have to do it and if you don't do it, then they, that's when they do pull you over. That's when you do get in trouble. Here go another one. Bam. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that was an example of asshole driving, right? This lady put her turn signal on and just got over. I, I'm pretty sure she didn't even bother looking. Didn't even bother looking. Yep. Yeah, to say, okay, I see this Jeep speeding up, you know, let me wait for the Jeep. Because that could have been a collision. That could have been her ass and she would have been wondering, oh, why, you know, why me? Why did I get into the accident? But then she got into the middle lane, which, you know, that's her right to do, to go the same fucking speed. Like, normally you trying to speed up going in the middle lane. It looks like she's going slower now. So we got this guy, he's not going too slow. He's probably doing about a good 70, 72. You know, got the Model 3 back there going slow, but of course he gonna go slow. But let's see the next wave of cars passes, right? So the, I think the freeway is about to end shortly. Cause this turns into a regular ass street. I wouldn't say regular, but you know, like an avenue type with the big island in the middle. So I can kind of see the wave of cars behind us getting closer. And as you can see, the wave of cars that was in front of us are now very far in front of us. I will set it to 85, but I just want to play it safe. may have been a better route, you know, to test the full self driving sniffs. But we'll see once we get up here. Look, there's no trucks around. Luckily, it's not raining up here either. But you know what? I probably would have preferred it raining because that would have tested the capabilities of the software. All right, we all know how it does in the rain at nighttime. You know, uh, pretty mid. But in the daytime, it shouldn't have a problem with rain. Even though normally it, it you know, it paces itself when it's raining. It kind of does this, you know, I'm gonna go slow just for safety reasons. But for some reason, if it's like a lot of snow outside and it's icy and it's like 12 degrees, it wanna drive like it's normal. I had to throw those underwear out, by the way. dead on this side. I don't know why. So now we got the wave of cars behind us catching up to us. Like, about to pass us. 
we got a little sporty right here. And he's about to pass us. And then we got uh, a couple of other cars where, when I looked in the review, they were way back. And now they're like right there. Like right, right there. Oh, man, she looked like an old lady too. <laughs> so we got the freeway ended in about a mile. Still doesn't have to get over to the right for another four miles. Um, I think once we get to it, it just has to get over, get over. You know, like we just get over a couple of lanes and turn into where we got to turn into. I want to see if it takes us right to the door through the drive-through. Are we gonna pick up somebody's shit and deliver it? Shouldn't be that confusing. Shouldn't be that bad. So the previous versions of FSD used to be very bad at this. We got a lot of cars that's up ahead that are stopped or very, like barely moving. Um, FSD before used to have to slam on the brakes to do something like this. Whereas now, you know, it kind of sees the cars ahead and it's like, you know, I need to slow down. Let me slow down earlier. So I don't run into the back of one of these cars. Wait, that used to be some scary shit back in the day. It, it, it would still be doing 80, and it's like five car lengths away. All right, so now we uh, on to the kind of the, the other fucked up part. Nothing really too confusing after this, though. Nothing too bad. Hmm. Shit. We got a red light right here, and then about fifteen hundred feet up is a whole nother red light. Somebody using their um, save gas at the red light feature. Oh yeah, I see why he's uh his back was smashed up like that. Alright. I think the speed limit up there turns to fifty. I see why we're still doing 45 now. Let's see how soon this thing wants to get over to the right lanes. Is it going to wait 0.5 miles or is it going to do it at a mile? Or is it going to start soon? We got some cones up there so uh, my car will start crying at me. Oh no, it's just the ramp closed. There's a lot of ramps that's been closed on this drive. Hey, that's not, mm, that's not um it's not usual. I wonder, I, I wonder how that conspired, right? Because that, that SUV was on the right of us. It was on the right of us at first. But I think it put its turn signal on to get into the lane we were just in. And the car saw the uh, cars up ahead slowing down. So then it just kind of made this split second decision to get over to the right lane. So I wonder, did the car know that that SUV was getting over, or did it just try? Was it going to try and then see, and then say, "Oh no, I can't get over." That 
that was that was pretty human like though. That's something like that's something that human would do. Wow. Way to drive in your lane. Alright, so we got less than a mile. And this thing has had plenty of time and space to get over. See, I, but okay, so after this after this sprint, we should be good. Let's see. Okay. Got one more lane to go. Wow, okay. Uh, that was that was alright, I guess. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. It did that kind of uh, abruptly. You know, I felt that, but it um it was pretty cool. It did what it had to do. I want to see what it does. Is it going to get over because I think there's a lane. Oh, wow, you actually going to stop too. Wow. It was about five people that went and we stopping. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. That's very fucking funny. Man, just the thought of this shit is making me fucking hungry. My stomach been growling this whole time. I don't know, maybe I could eat some shit on the way home. Oh yeah, she's turning all right. Now there are, there are turn lanes to turn into the complex. So I wanna see what the car does. Is the car gonna try to turn from this lane, which is fucking dangerous? Or is the car gonna actually get into the little turn lane? Okay, but it's getting to the left. I don't know why. Hard stop for some reason right now. All right, let's see. What it, oh, at least we got that truck back there. Uh, no, now we got the Jeep coming up. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was perfect. Now turn right onto Woodridge Drive. Uh, we all know how it does with uh, parking lots. It's, it's like a real half and half. Oh, it's like nobody there, too. That's kind of bad. It's going to be like a fucked up ass chicken in here. I'm going to have to pick from the. Uh, destination is on the right. Let's see, it's taking it to the door. Is it going to take it to the door? No, just right here. All right, that was that was pretty damn good drive. Mm -hmm. No disengagements. It really didn't do anything stupid either. So let me shut the fuck up. Go through this drive through and harass the fuck out of these people. And I will see y'all on the next one.